Now, we have live team coverage on all of today's developments for you. Eight on your side's Karen Loftus has more on the NHL's halting of play. And Jeff Patterson tells us what major events in Tampa are being put on hold. But we begin with eight on your side's Ryan Hughes. He's, he is live outside Farnell Middle School in Hillsborough County. And that school was shut down after someone who visited the school was exposed to a patient with coronavirus. Ryan. Hey, good evening. So that's right. Close today and tomorrow and, of course, all next week for spring break. I'll step out of the way, show you a live look at the school monitor at the front of the middle school. You see some barricades there as well. We're told in the next few days the school will be cleaned in hopes of getting rid of anything inside that poses harm. The decision to close Farnell Middle School was abrupt, with district leaders coming together to make the announcement at 6.30 this morning. They told the public the school will be shut down for two days. We will treat these next 48 hours such as hurricane days, which are uh, potentially built into our calendars. It's not a hurricane that caused the drastic measure, but the coronavirus. We're told the man who comes to the school came in contact with someone in another county who tested positive for the virus. Right now, workers are cleaning Farnell from top to bottom. For the, for the next 24 hours, we have to be able to shut down the entire AC and within, this, uh, within our building. And what that's going to allow us to do to let all the air particles, the transition down where we can have accessibility to be able to take a deep clean. After that, a light thermal fog will be sprayed inside to kill germs. Drone 8 flew over the property where workers focused on school buses. Those in the community concerned about the virus and the major effects it's having on so many things. It's scary, you know, I mean, almost the last really out, big, like a big outbreak. So A sentiment others agree on, including grandparents who have grandkids at Farnell. Very nervous. I think, uh, you know, a lot of it you know, you, you talk about it with everybody and you hear it on the news all the time, but it's, uh, it's kind of scary. And so far, these measures are only in place at this particular school, but we're told by school leaders that all schools are taking safety precautions. They're adding hand sanitizer stations and wipes at entrances to schools simply out of an abundance of caution. We're live in Hillsborough County. I'm Ryan Hughes, 8 on your side.